Usually stud farms here in Kentucky are kind of exclusive places. You can't just do what these people are doing and wander on in. But today they're allowed because these are members of Club Godolphin, 100 of which entered a competition to see inside these very doors to the stallion barn. The weather in Kentucky didn't really get the memo that this was a big day for the Club Godolphin members, several of whom had flown across the country to be there. It rained and it poured, meaning the stallion show had to take place inside. What a show it was, though. First up was the Kentucky Derby winner, the stunning Nyquist behaving impeccably for fans. The five-year-old son of Uncle Mo entered stud in 2017 and stands for a fee of $40,000. He was followed by another Kentucky Derby winner, Animal Kingdom being perhaps better known to us in Dubai for his scintillating Dubai World Cup win back in 2013. Metagliadoro didn't quite manage to win a World Cup, his achievements as a stallion are legendary, and the 19-year-old was extremely popular with Club Godolphin members, while Hard Spun, five years younger than Medaglia, also looked happy and relaxed in front of an appreciative crowd. So Bobby, this is a, a brilliant initiative. Uh, who came up with the concept of letting a lot of people in here to get very close to your priceless stallions? The, um, the idea is, is one from the US marketing team. This is all about giving the chance to a number of Godolphin fans, Club Godolphin members here in the US, chance to, to get access that they wouldn't normally be able to have. And normally, obviously, Club Godolphin is about giving digital access to people online and through the various platforms that we have uh, across all of the social channels. But this time, every once in a while, it's brilliant to be able to give people the chance physically to have access to the stars, the equine stars, and some of the team here at John Abel uh, in Kentucky. After the stallions, there was another treat in store as club members boarded a bus to the nearby Broodmare Barn, where they were introduced to one of the greats of recent American racing history, a shadow, winner of seven grade ones. Now 17, the multi-millionaire mayor was happy to see her fans and even happier to have some mints. After taking a look at the impressive trophy room and having a go at naming a yearling, the guests departed but not before we grabbed a word with a few of them. How have you enjoyed your day today? I've loved it, it's been awesome. What's been the best part of it? Just, I like the stallion parade, um, seeing all the stallions. Were they stallions that you knew about before? Did you follow them in their racing careers? I did follow them, yes. So it was really exciting. It made it that much more exciting. Which one was your favorite? Um, I like Animal Kingdom. We have loved this, to see these stallions up close, to see Ashado, to see her daughter behind us. It's been a wonderful day. What's been the best bit for you? Seeing all the trophies and the awards and all the, the office, really. That was probably the most exciting, all the trophies up there. Did you have a long drive to get here today? I'm from Tucson, Arizona, so yeah, we came from across the country. And uh, it's, we're not used to rain like we've had today, but it's been nice. A successful day for all, apart from the rain, but you can't have everything. <laughs>